Yes. So, what did we learn now? We have learned uh, the reactions involving the cleavage of CO bond in your ethers. Correct. So, we have I have shown you three reactions. One was with H2SO4, where uh, it, uh, H2SO4 uh, <coughs> broke up into H plus and HSO4 minus. Now, then I showed you reaction with hydroiodic acid (HI). I remember, please, I have shown you go through the video again so that uh, it's easy for you to relate to the mechanism. There, I have shown you under cold conditions and under warm conditions. If you are increasing the temperature, what happens? So, now I will be showing the mechanism for the cold condition and then I will go back to the warm condition which is prescribed for you in your CBSE syllabus. Now, I said reaction with HI, correct? Yes. Now, I am going to pick up cold condition and I am going to show you the reaction. So, under cold condition, what did we write? R O R <coughs> with HI is going to break up. Just leave it here, anywhere, either side. You get R O H plus this and R I. Correct. This is what we have done under cold. Let us see the mechanism for this. Suppose instead of R, I am going to pick up a CH3. O CH3. Fine. Done. Now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Correct. Now in step 1, your HI is going to come and attack. So what happens? HI will first, there is a cleavage of the bond. This becomes plus, this becomes minus. So now this pair of electron is donated to this. How does this look? CH3O, yes, H3H, this has become plus because this has lost pair of electron. Now, done. Now, in the second step, observe, now CH3, can I write it as H, H and H? Correct? Yeah. Now, this iodine, whatever is there, will come and attack this group. So, which attack is this? SN2. SN2 mechanism. When this is attacking this cation, why is this attacking basically? This has become positive. When this bond shifts here, this attains positive charge, right? So, then this iodine nucleophile comes and attacks this carbocation. So, now what happens? What do you get? This particular bond you get CH3OH. Now, already this bond has broken up. What do I get? CH3I. Look here ROH, CH3OH, RI, CH3. So, what has actually happened? What, what has formed? What bonds are broken? Let us see. Bonds broken. Bonds formed. Let us see what what are broken. What what are formed? What is the use of writing that when you write that in the exam? It's easy. Okay, this is a bond. These bond. You remember this bonds broken bonds uh, formed. Now you can directly do the mechanism. Just see. <coughs> First of all, under bonds broken, HI. So HI bond is broken. Correct. Done. After that, come back here. Which bond is broken? COH bond. CO bond has broke. Which bond has formed? O and H bond has formed, isn't it? Bonds formed O and H. Correct? Now, further what uh, bond has formed here? New bond. This is broken. This is formed C and I. So, this is how you are going to remember the mechanism. Please note it. <coughs> Under cold conditions, it is going to give me an alcohol and alkyl halide with this mechanism. So, if you still want to uh, uh, like uh, practice it, just write the steps. Cleavage of bond of HI, protonation of the this uh, uh, compound, then SN2 mechanism, then formation of alcohol. If you wish to write in steps, please note it.